Why Nations Fail, by Darren C. McGlue and James A. Robinson is suitable for anyone who is interested in understanding the factors that contribute to the success or failure of nations. The book provides a comprehensive analysis of political and economic institutions and their impact on the long-term economic growth and prosperity of nations. It is particularly relevant for students of economics, political science, history, and international relations, as well as policymakers and those interested in global development. The book is written in an accessible and engaging style, making it a valuable resource for anyone who wants to gain a deeper understanding of the complex issues surrounding economic and political development. The central thesis of the book is that the key to a nation's long-term economic growth and prosperity lies in the quality of its political and economic institutions. The authors argue that inclusive political and economic institutions, which allow for broad-based participation and open competition, are essential for sustained economic growth and development. Conversely, extractive political and economic institutions, which concentrate power and wealth in the hands of a narrow elite, tend to stifle innovation and economic progress. A C. McGlue and Robinson explore this thesis through a detailed analysis of historical case studies, spanning from the Industrial Revolution in England to contemporary economic development in countries like China and Brazil. They identify a number of key factors that contribute to the success or failure of nations, including property rights, the rule of law, and the presence of inclusive economic institutions. One of the key arguments of the book is that institutions are not simply a product of geography or culture, but are shaped by political power struggles. In particular, the authors argue that the presence or absence of strong centralized states and the balance of power between different groups within society have a major influence on the quality of institutions. The book also challenges the notion that there is a one-size-fits-all approach to economic development. Instead, the authors argue that successful economic development must be based on local conditions and historical context, and that attempts to impose foreign models or institutions are unlikely to succeed. Why Nations Fail, by Darren C. McGlue and James A. Robinson offers valuable insights into the factors that contribute to the success or failure of nations, and provides a framework for understanding the role of institutions in shaping economic outcomes. While the book does not offer specific solutions to individual problems, its analysis can help us to think critically about the challenges facing our societies and to identify potential avenues for progress. Understanding the importance of inclusive institutions, the book emphasizes the importance of political and economic institutions that are inclusive and allow for broad-based participation and competition. This can help us to identify situations where institutions are not inclusive and may be contributing to problems such as inequality or corruption. By advocating for more inclusive institutions, we can work to address these problems and promote more equitable outcomes. Recognizing the impact of power struggles, the book highlights the role of political power struggles in shaping the quality of institutions. This can help us to understand why certain groups may be advantaged or disadvantaged in particular societies, and to identify ways to promote more equitable distribution of power and resources. Emphasizing the importance of context, the book argues that successful economic development must be based on local conditions and historical context, rather than attempting to impose foreign models or institutions. This can help us to recognize the unique challenges and opportunities facing different societies, and to identify approaches that are most likely to succeed in specific contexts. Encouraging critical thinking, the book challenges many commonly held assumptions about economic development and political stability, and encourages readers to think critically about the factors that contribute to success or failure. This can help us to approach complex problems with a more nuanced understanding and to identify new and innovative solutions.